it was well they're doing like a reboot now of the real housewives of new york and they just announced the cast this past weekend do you know like jenna lyons i mean she used yeah. to be that really shocked me i was surprised she would do that but it's weird they're adding like seven new people it's they're kind of like moving the luann's and the sonia's to what they call a legacy show and they've kind of recasted the whole thing and they're starting over wow which is, uh, I was personally shocked at the name channel. I mean, I know, like, I was shocked myself. Yeah, it doesn't seem like her thing, but. You didn't think she would be into something like this? No, but it's it going to make me want to watch it at least once. <laughs> Do you know, like, Lizzie Savetsky? Like, she's also like a. I don't know her personally, but we did something with her. Like, she. She did some Instagram thing for us because we were selling clothes at Neiman's. And so she did a, like a post for us. So I, I am familiar with her. I know she is. To me, she seemed more like, okay, like she does a lot of the social media. And oh, influencing. perfect, 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 perfect. I think she's but, perfect. But I thought she was based in Texas, not here. I thought the exact same thing. I think she split her time. I mean, my understanding was she was in the mix at one point for the Real Housewives of Dallas when they were recasting that. But I think she's here now. So yeah, there you go. But yeah, I, 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 I was perfect for that. I thought she seemed perfect. In Jenna Lyons, I was like, wow, I wouldn't have. She just seems more reserved to me, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look back at the beginning of your career, like what advice would you give to yourself? Well, um, I don't know. I mean, you know, one thing I, I, I think I'd, I'd sometimes I would be unhappy with something. I'd go, okay, for now. And I think you should always never say, okay, for now. It's kind of like dating. And if you're dating a guy and like, oh, he's okay for now, it's not okay. So if you feel that way about your boyfriend, cut him out. <laughs> and, and, and if, the, you know, I felt like there's sometimes in like my business, I would be putting up with something and they're saying, well, it's okay for now, whatever. And it's not. So you should just sort of, um, I don't know, just have belief in yourself and if something and your gut instincts and if, if something is that, if you feel that way about something, you have to change it sooner rather than later. That's good advice. Like when does okay for now with anything really ever work out the way you want right? it to? Never, ever. Not when you're dating someone, not with a friend that you're having issues with, not with a business. It's really never. Okay. And as we kind of wind down, like, how do you think like you have changed as a designer, a businesswoman over the years from when you first started? Well, you know, I have to say, you know, I have a lot of experience, but sometimes, um, you know, I feel like I'm still learning things and you know, one thing that the longer you've been doing something, you can get into a rut and you kind of go, oh, well, that never sells or that never sold. And then I'll have my, you know, assistants go, oh, but it's, the, you know, it's the newest color. It's the latest thing. It's whatever, blah, blah, blah. And so sometimes I have to just, you know, say, okay, I'm not going to go with like my, you know, <laughs> experience. I'm going to go with the experiment rather than the experience because, you know, you know, I, I feel like I can get stubborn because I feel like I've tried everything. So I have to sort of sometimes like sit back and like let somebody else do that because, um, you know, you just you sort of are dealing with your history all the time. And sometimes you have to just ignore your history. And then has that worked out for you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they'll push me to do something and they'll say color is going to sell, which I said never sold. But this year it sells. So things do change. I love and, that. I mean, I did this dress on Christy Turlington in my second or third show. And it's the hottest dress in the market today. But it was, you know, a slip dress with the cutouts on the side. Everybody's making that dress. We couldn't sell that for the life of us in like 1990. It was too bare, too risque, whatever. And then I brought it back a couple other times, could not sell it. And these dresses are selling all over the place now. And it just annoys me. <laughs> it was like, I did it first. <laughs> You did at first and like looking back, you're like, would I ever have predicted this would be a thing? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, like, and, and the way like clothes are like so naked these days, you know, cutouts every which way and everything. And, um, you know, there's 
this one show I did, I think it was like spring 93. And we did all these dresses with crazy cutouts and asymmetrical and everything. And of course they didn't sell, but they would sell really well today. That's a good point. That is a good point. Anything else you want to cover that I didn't cover that I like to give people a chance at the end to bring up anything at all you want, anything you're working on that I didn't discuss? Well, just, um, you know, it's our 40th year in business and we are planning a big, big retrospective show. We did one last summer in the Hamptons um, and it was sort of like a mini one. And then we were going to do it in October, but we just kind of didn't get our act together. So we're probably going to do it in February and show all these things from the archives closet. I saw that. And you also did get the Fashion Icon Award for Hamptons Fashion Week. Yes. Recently. That was fun. Is there something in the archives that you're most excited for people to see? Well, there's there's a lot of cool things. I mean, one of my favorite things um, and we showed it in the Hamptons too, but I would show it again. It's this macrame dress, hand on macrame dress that was on Carla Bruni. Wow. And yeah. And um, yeah, do you want to grab the picture of it? I could show you the picture, but it's on the desk up there. Yeah, I'll definitely look I'm at gonna, it. I'm going to just grab the picture. I saw picture. a lot of the pictures from the Hamptons from the retrospective, but I would love to see it. Yeah. So I can't yeah, picture it. It happens to be on the desk. Oh, perfect. It's within uh, grabbing. Uh, <laughs> You're prepared. Oh, wow. Can you see? Oh, wow. Yeah. And I always loved Carla Bruni. I mean, and this is a full, you know, it's macrame all the way to the ground. Wow. Sorry about the reflection. No, no. Oh, that's... it's here in the reflection. Yeah, <laughs> no, it super, looks. Super imposed. I need to like. No, anyway, it looks. She was a fabulous girl. She was always a nice model to work with. You know, I mean, sometimes there was an occasional bitchy one, but she was really nice. And that dress is really, really cool. I guess, you know, have you had a lot of experience, like when you do have like a model that's not really cooperating and just kind of putting them back on track? Well, the funny thing, one story, this, this model came in and she had been in the Gucci show and she was completely full of herself completely full of herself and she was like I was in the Gucci show and blah 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 and she was miss attitude but I she was brand new I mean it'd been like her first or second season and I see the video she chewed gum all the way up and down the runway <laughs> can you believe it anyway of course we never used her again but nobody else did either like there was her like one one big season and she was nobody I never saw her again in anybody's show so she must have given a lot of people attitude it's like humility, people. It's like a skill, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so February, that sounds great. You're going to be rolling that out. You'll have to come. I will need to come. I'm right down the street. I will not be in the Hamptons in February. Well, where can everyone follow you on Instagram that doesn't already? I'll share your socials when this comes out too. Nicole Miller, NYC. Thank you. I 